Hello. So you're gonna learn to play euphonium today. All right. It's great. Um, how much do you know? Well, you play saxophone. Mm -hmm. Use a lot. Do you use a lot of air for saxophone or a little air for saxophone? I try to use a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, first thing we're gonna do is talking about. We're gonna talk about how to hold the euphonium. Basically, you want to hold it like a baby, like you're cradling a baby. So when you, with your right hand, I'm going to show you first and have you do it, make kind of a C shape, and then this little hook right here, your thumb's going to go there, okay. and your middle three fingers are going to go on the bumps. Okay. Try that right now, just the hand. Good. When you bring it to your body, with your left arm, you're just going to kind of cradle the bottom of it and hold it so that the mouthpiece can come right to your face. I don't, don't move your face, keep your head planted, and bring the instrument to you. And then your right hand's gonna make that little shape right there. Okay. Try it out. Good. Bring the instrument away from you. Bring it to you. Good. Does it feel tense in your arms or your shoulders trying to hold it up at all? No. No? Okay, good. While we're there, don't have an instrument, and so I'm not gonna be able to do it, but just listen. We're gonna do this. And you're gonna blow it through the instrument. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and do that three times. Good, you are, you're already using a lot of air. Good air. Now blow. Do that again. Blow really, really fast air. Good, good. Now low, slower air. Good. Before we start playing, the difference between those airs, that middle air, the first one that you did, is just going to be about your middle range notes. So on brass instruments, you can change notes either horizontally with the valves, because you're changing the length of the tubing, mm -hmm. or you can do it vertically on your different partials. That faster, higher air is going to get higher notes. That lower, slower air is going to get lower notes. Okay. So I want you to do just on the middle air, do those three blows, and the third time you're going to just put your lips together just so they touch and see what comes out. So you're okay. going to go, <sighs> just touch your lips and then blow. Okay. Great. That was really centered. Good centered tone. Good job. I'm going to take the instrument from you. I'm going to play you a little song. Okay. It's going to be fun. Here's some music on the euphonium. You can, you'll hear me changing pitches vertically and horizontally with the valves. Okay. Wipe that off a little bit for ya. 
hold the euphonium again, start, so right hand, then just bring it to you. Good. I want you to start, you're going to do those three blows, blow in, blow through the instrument, third time put your lips together, but this time I want you to use the faster air, try to get those higher notes. Okay. Good. Good, good. If you heard that came out a lot higher than the last time to mm -hmm. be partial. Now let's do the opposite. Let's try the slower, lower, big air. Good. Last time, I want you to blow in. Start on that middle air and feel free to experiment. Change your air, change your notes. Try to get those different partials and change the notes vertically. Okay. Uh, do I do blow three times again or just? Yeah, so start with the two blows through and then the third time just put your lips together to get the tone and then you can start changing your air from there. job. Now go ahead and you can, you started experimenting with the valves the first time. If you want to start figuring that out, you can start messing with those as well. It's going to feel different while you're blowing through when you push the valve. So just try to keep your air going, keep it steady. Brass player in yes. training. That's the word. Brass player in training. Cool. Thanks, Jair.